fires of heaven. The dimensions of Elijah. The power over nature. Power to open the heavens. Power to multiply. Barak de Kafatia. Zakata Barakatanus. Barakatua Tatata. Tata Tadida Talataj. On ground, online. Those following on YouTube, on Facebook, every handle, every platform, take that fire now. You go to certain meetings and you see some, for those of you who are men, you will see some women, they will walk in. The perfume they will put on. If you perceive that perfume, you will remember it for two years. <laughs> perfume. And then when you come, they will say, this person will assist you for this week. When she turns and say hi. <laughs> when you leave that conference, you will be hearing hi. 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 For two months, you will hear hi. 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 Hi won't go. Hi will become a, a reverberation. Before you know what has happened, you, don't, you have not seen anything. You're welcome to another exciting video with Apostle Mike here on Rockpo. What you just watched was a tip to what you'll be getting in this powerful video. And this is the right time to hit that share button and invite your friends and your family to join you on this powerful adventure of transformation. Because there are many things you will learn and you will wish your friends or your family member will also learn them with you. Because the Bible speaking said faith cometh by hearing and hearing only by the word of God, but this time around, by the word of God on the lips of his servant, you will be blessed. Stamina, stamina, stamina in the spirit is the capacity to focus on God and God only. Wow. There is a realm you get to in power, you will be shocked the number of distractions there are. You are just going to work every day, coming back as a banker, you don't know what is happening. You have a salary of a, a hundred thousand kwacha, a hundred and fifty thousand kwacha, and that's okay. You are just living your life. Wait until you become the CEO of a bank. They will tell you we have dinner in Saudi Arabia. And that dinner, the room where they will serve that dinner, if you see those who are serving, you will now know that, oh, there are bankers and there are bankers. those who have, who, have who have gone to certain places you will see some distraction that even when you come back after three months the distraction will be in the center of your brain every day to be read to you because of how vivid and how pleasurable that distraction is you will carry it in your mind if you don't have the priesthood that stands in the presence to knock it off next weekend you will go back even when there's no dinner that's why you see that most of our leaders are not in our country. Somebody say he's a senator representing a district. He doesn't visit. He visits there only during election. Senator relocates from the district that he's representing. He goes to live in another nation. Every week, senator is in Dubai. He leaves Dubai. He's in Kuwait. He leaves Kuwait. He's in Paris. He's pursuing distraction because there's no priesthood. Now, those distractions are the things that make men siphon the commonwealth of the people and waste them. Because if you don't have stamina, if you see, you will go to certain meetings and you will see some, for those of you who are men, you will see some women, they will walk in. The perfume they will put on. If you perceive that perfume, you will remember it for two years. <laughs> perfume. And then when you come, they will say, this person will assist you for this week. When she turns and say hi. When you leave that conference, you will be hearing hi, hi, hi. For two months, you will hear hi. Hi, hi. Hi won't go. Hi will become a, a reverberation. Before you know what has happened, you, don't, you have not seen anything. You will see some men, when they come to a meeting with you, they just talk to you, they give you a gift. When you open it, what you will see there will be more than what you have earned in 10 years. And then they tell you, please call me. That please call me. 
Even if you are a married woman, you will hear it a million times. <laughs> you will tell your husband next week that there is a course. You are going for training for two weeks. Because that place called me. What he gave you will enter your soul and eat you. I'm telling you why many don't survive in the marketplace. It's a treacherous ground. You will need stamina to survive there. Otherwise, you will go there and you will lose your work with God. Why do you think many of our leaders can't stay in our country? They have met some Arabian girls. They have met some Brazilian ladies. And every weekend, the moment is Friday, their head turns backward. They want to go for that party till Saturday night. It's on Monday, they come back to office and they say, where are the files? They are signing what they can't read. Because they don't have stamina in priesthood. You, do you know how? You think life is as simple as this one. You are saying, oh Lord, give me house rent. The problems are not down. They are up. <laughs> one of my mentors told a story. He said he went for a meeting somewhere and the lady they attached him to. She just, whether she was drinking water or something, water dropped on her and the water rolled from her arm straight down. One, one molecule didn't hang. The way the skin was. He saw that vision for two weeks. <laughs> if he goes home, he wants to pray, he will just see the skin. The way the, the, way the skin. He had to pray, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. <laughs> Did you read about Solomon? Wise man, great entrepreneur. But suddenly he met strange women. He started building different altars and introduced foreign gods to corrupt the covenant of God. Because there was no stamina. There was no stamina. Before God calls you his certified intercessor, he will check the stamina of your spirit. What can you ignore? To focus on God. Can you ignore power? Can you ignore money? Can you ignore women? Can you ignore influence? If you don't have the capacity to ignore everything and stay true to the visions of Abba, you are not a man to be sent to the marketplace. Because commissioning is a rank in the spirit. And for those of us who are priests, God will carry us through this route. When you enter here and God certifies you and you begin to talk and the installations of darkness begins to fall, you will now notice that there are two other things that happen to an intercessor. Number one is warfare. Because when you start praying and things the devil has planted in territories begin to fall, they will see you as a threat. Who is that person that spoke and this, this program that has lasted for 50 years was shut down? They will come for you. And when they come for you, then God will give you the fifth qualification, which is discernment. So that you will know when to run. You will know when to stand to fight. You will know when to sit. You will know when to hide. An intercessor is like the wind. There are times when he rises up with bows and arrows and he fights. There are other times when he disappears. And so for two weeks, nobody sees you. And they say, where has he gone to? You are hiding because discernment has come. Not every battle is fought. Some are avoided. But if you don't have the weapon of discernment, you will not know what it takes to operate in those corridors. Ask those that God has commissioned. Their greatest strength. What makes them invincible is the weapon of discernment. He says, as the wind blow it. That knoweth not from whence it cometh or whence it goeth. He says, so are they that are born by the Spirit of God. You can go for some meetings. They ask you a question and you don't answer. You just, you just do like this. Whether you, you are saying yes or no, they can't tell. <laughs> because that, that meeting is not your answer they are looking for. They just wanted to say you too spoke there. So that they will include you among people that will become victims. And so the Holy Ghost tells you, your voice cannot be heard. And so, although you couldn't escape the meeting, you came. When they are talking, you are just doing like this. You do like this until you go. They now want to probe and attack everybody that went for that meeting. They are doing voicing. When they check the whole voicing, your voice didn't appear. So God used discernment to teach you how to escape. And so you will see that you will be on that corridor changing things, yet you are invincible. Because now you have received the qualification to represent God in those corridors. You can't have such intelligence by studying in Harvard. You have such intelligence because you have disclosures from the realm of God. Sometimes you prepare for a meeting. As you are opening the door to enter that meeting, the Holy Ghost said, 
only answer the question of the man in blue. And then you enter, only one person is wearing blue. You become, you sit down. Others are talking, you feel like talking, you keep quiet. You respond to that one man, that's all, you go. They will now come back later and say, who is that person that spoke to the man in blue? You are the only person. And that becomes the reason why you are exonerated or elevated. All of those dynamics are weaved into priesthood. But you see, those men and intercessors, they create the opportunity to ask some of these men questions. Ask them, they will tell you. Microsecond decisions that they made because of impulses, signals that they picked in the middle of a conversation. And that became the deciding factor. And those ones can be taught. No matter how many business mentorship you attend, they don't teach those ones. Those ones are imparted. If you ascend, those things open and you are able to receive them. And those are the things that will make the difference most of the time. Somebody said the difference between life and death is a whisper. When you become an intercessor. I believe this video has inspired you and more than inspiration has pushed you into action. Because the scripture speaking, it says, blessed are ye when ye do these things. The things you just listened to, blessed are you when you do them. We implore you to get to work on the messages you've just listened to. If it means repeating the message to get a point you didn't get at the cost of the message, maybe by a distraction or something, please do as it would greatly benefit your spiritual growth. And that is what we are after in this channel and that brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching the video if you are a new subscriber welcome on board and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back your presence and your view means so much to us please we urge you to share this video once again with your friends and family if you have not done so share it on whatsapp share it on on facebook share it share it on all the social media platform that you are so that somebody can get blessed through you and also um, do well to like this video comment on the video comment your thoughts comment anything you think if you if you if you if you need help questions you can just comment them down below and they will try our best to answer your questions by the help of the holy spirit and until next time keep loving the lord and stay blessed